let's get started about this book, um, Modern C++ for Absolute Beginners with Slobodan Dimitrovich. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Jens. Uh, thank you for inviting me to this uh, uh, meeting. Uh, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Slobodan Dmitrovic. I am a professional C++ trainer, and I'm also the author of this uh, book, which is called Modern C++ for Absolute Beginners. But I like to refer to my book uh, by its second title, which is A Friendly Introduction to C++. So, uh, Please allow me briefly to introduce my book. My book is an introductory course to the C++ programming language, the standard uh, C++ standard library, and modern C++ standards. In the second edition, I've included uh, uh, notable features starting from C++ 11, C++ 14, 17, and uh, C++ 23 as well. So I hope you find this book uh, useful because uh, learning C++ can indeed be uh, challenging task. So my idea with this book was to provide an introductory course to the C++ programming language, the one that uh, aims to explain complex things in an easy to understand manner while not sacrificing the amount of info you should be introduced to when working as a C++ developer. So for the moment being, I'd just like to introduce you to the, I mean, learning C++ if we, if a uh, software developer or an engineer is left on their own when learning C++, it can prove to be a challenging task. So determining what is it that you need to learn right away and what is it that you can uh, do without, especially in a complex language such as C++, can indeed be a challenging task. So hopefully you find my book interesting. Hopefully this task of learning C++, uh, my book makes it that much easier. So in short, that would be uh, that would be a short introduction from my that's side. That's nice to hear. Um, but actually, there's one more thing with um, worth mentioning, and that's you've been a speaker, and we wanted to do an interview. And so, if you have any questions regarding the book or um, the talk, which was C++ for C developers. Uh, Subodan also has given a training on this last week. Um, then we can just, you know, do this now. And for that, let me just... Um... Sure, sounds good. Uh, perhaps I could share a little, uh, a few slides uh, from my book, if you agree. Sure, we can do that. Okay, let's see, share, let's share a screen here. And uh, there we go. So a little bit of info about my book, how I structured my book. So first, there is the language itself and uh, determining what is the solid knowledge base in a language itself can be also a challenging task. So let's take a look at the table of contents. Here I have included uh, some of the topics that I feel are the uh, making the building, uh, making the knowledge base of the every both professional and aspiring C++ developer. So it goes without saying, first, we need to start with the uh, introductory topics such as types, declarations, uh, expressions, operands, and then we build in complexity statements, built-in statements. And as you can see, every few chapters, I've included exercises that grow in complexity. And I'm a huge fan, for example, of uh, generic naming conventions, because I, I feel that gives you a solid uh, ground to start working on your own naming conventions. Also, there is a question uh, nowadays, especially in modern C++, there is this notion that we should depart completely from a raw arrays and raw pointers. So this was, a, for example, this was one of one of the topics I discussed with other developers as well, should I include raw arrays and raw pointers to begin with? Now, there are two uh, arguments for this. One that says you should completely depart from raw arrays and raw pointer in C++. But since I give C++ trainings uh, to the industry, 
and 90% of the time I do indeed see raw arrays and raw pointers. So I felt the need to int introduce raw arrays and raw pointers, if only to discourage their use in favor of uh, uh, better facilities we have in C++, especially in modern C++, such as uh, smart pointers, uh, more specifically unique pointer, which should be a replacement for a raw pointer. But I felt the need that you need to be introduced in this uh, uh, notion of raw arrays and raw pointers, if only to uh, discourage their use in favor of uh, standard library facilities and smart pointers. And then we build in complexity. There are statements, both built-in statements and user-defined statements, functions, scope and lifetime, which is a very important topic. And only then, when all of these topics are in place, uh, do I think that we should tackle the topic of classes. So. Only when those uh, topics are covered and we establish a solid base, then we can tackle the topic of classes. And then, for example, uh, the question comes to templates. How much of a template is a too much of a template introduction? So I, I kept it fairly uh, uh, short on the term on the topic of templates because I feel uh, talking too much about templates can be overwhelming, especially for people who are just uh, getting introduced mm -hmm. to C++. So that's why I felt the need that only a brief introduction, uh, I felt the need uh, can be a beneficiary to you if you're starting with C++. And then we move on to the topics such as the standard library, smart pointers, standard library, notable uh, containers, notable algorithms there. And... Uh, Finally, we talk about C++ 11, 14, 17, and 23 standards. So I hope you find this uh, book overview useful. And um, I hope ultimately this book uh, motivates more people to start learning this, uh, this language. Okay, so that's that from my part. I have actually a question um, which fits perfectly in this. Um, Christian Freund asks, I need a literature, I need literature to get people on board with modern C++ that have worked only with pure C so far. Is that the right books? Um, I indeed hope that this book, uh, you find it useful. I've, I've written this book so that you don't have to have any prior knowledge to C++, shall we say. And if you are coming with a pure C background, there are things to, uh, and moving to the C++, there are things to both learn and things to unlearn when starting with the C++. So with the meeting C++, we just finished the training that was actually mm -hmm. meant for this. Uh, it was called C++ for C developers, where we talked into greater details about uh, what are the paradigms we should adopt when moving from C to C++. Now, there are two schools of thought that say that you sh should learn C++ prior to uh, C, prior to learning C++, and that's not really true. I mean, I, I personally think that you are better off even if you don't have any experience with C to start with C++. But if you do have experience with C, that can be an advantage in, in a way that you already know a great deal of basic language facilities as far as we keep this notion that C and C++ are two different languages with two different ways of thinking, two different uh, programming paradigms. So I hope you find this uh, book interesting uh, as well. Yeah, I think especially um, the training and, and not forget that we uh, had a talk. Uh, let me bring up my slides again. Um, we did have a talk which you gave and is going into the same direction uh, where Slobodan talked about C++ for C developers and migration. So um, this talk is already on YouTube. So if you want to take a look at it, um, there you probably have like also a different medium. And we had a, a training in the same direction last week with Slobodan. And we're probably going to bring this up again if there's interest. And um, then the whole book here kind of you know um is for beginners but probably also like like you know it doesn't really make you lose something when you already know something about programming from a different uh, language or like already are familiar with c 
So, indeed. So, uh, if you can reach, you can perhaps reach to Jens Weller, and uh, if you are interested into this training, this is a two days training where we talk into greater details. It's an eight hours a day training, so it is involved, where we talk indeed about. Um, uh, things that are both similar in C and C++ and things that are vastly different in C and C++. So uh, the drawing the parallels be between the two is often discouraged, but nevertheless, we talk about uh, most direct equivalence and, most, uh, and shift of paradigms is basically what we want to adopt when moving from C to C++, because uh, in C, for example, we are used to working with raw arrays and raw pointers and pointer arithmetics but in c++ for the most part while we still can do that we tend to stay away from such uh, from such programming paradigms because we delegate this task of manipulating uh, raw memory blocks represented through arrays or pointers doesn't matter uh, to some other facilities in c++ and c for the most part is a uh, procedural language, whereas C++ can be both procedural, but most of the time it's uh, object-oriented language. So, yeah, we talk about uh, those topics into greater details, in, especially in our training, which is organized by the meeting C++. So something that you can potentially explore as well. Indeed. And generally, the whole raw access is something I think that we probably will say goodbye to and you know this whole safety debate is also kind of you know going into that direction um, exactly so we'll see thank you so good um thank let you. me continue in my slides um because here we are thank you for uh, actually like all the support you have given to meeting c++ this year for the training uh the talk and um being here today thank you so much um you're most welcome Jens. i'm glad i was able to help thank you very much and now let's continue with lightning talks and you've 